Hello everyone and welcome to a kind of episode but not real episode of Rock and Roll English. I am for once actually excited because I have a f fantastic story to share with you and some exciting news. So let's go to this fantastic story which in true R&R &R English fashion is an embarrassing story. So as you know, I lived in Italy for many years and when I was there, after a few years, I was out, you know, in a bar, had a few drinks, all the rest of it, and I was talking to a man. And this man was, let's say, not very tall. Now, I'm not tall either, but he was really small, really short in height. OK, fantastic guy, just a little bit short. Obviously, no problem at all with that. But we were talking. I didn't mention it, obviously, just like he didn't mention that I've got an exceptionally big nose. <laughs> you know, there's no point, is there? So we were talking and he was telling me about how he doesn't speak English very well. Obviously, we were speaking in Italian. And then he started speaking really quickly. And I did the usual thing of hearing some words and kind of thinking that's what he means. OK. And he started saying, I feel really small. Now, obviously, because he was not particularly tall, I thought he was telling me I feel really small. So I started saying, oh, don't worry, you're not that short. It's OK. And then he kind of gave me a strange look and said, no, when... I don't know how to speak English. I feel so small. He was using it as a kind of metaphor to say he feels stupid when he can't speak English. But that part I didn't understand. I thought he was just telling me I feel small. So I tried to comfort him. But in the end, I ended up looking really, really stupid. Because in reality, he was saying, I feel so small and stupid when everyone else is speaking English and I don't know how to speak English. That's what he was saying. But as I said, I used the information I had from my eyes, a couple of key words and formulated an idea, just that it was the wrong idea. Now, has something like this ever happened to you? You just formulate ideas based on a few key words that you hear, obviously for you when you speak English. If so, then my new online course is for you. I'm still in the process of building it, but it will be focused mainly on helping you to understand fast spoken English. As I mentioned on my last podcast, not enough time is spent on this in the English teaching world. So I have now been studying pronunciation and listening for the last two years in a lot of detail to help you with this. The course will work like this. You will first of all understand the sounds because in order to master fast spoken English you need to know what those sounds are. The sounds in English are different to your language and you need to make them a part of you inside your body let's say so you can recognize them much more quickly than you do at the moment. That's the first step. Then we will look at words and break down the sounds of the words. A simple example, the word dog would be d o k because again, you need to recognize those sounds in words in able to understand them. Then we will look at sentences, 
and actually transcribe them. This is the thing that no other online course does to actually transcribe fast connected speech and not with letters. No, not with letters or words, with sounds. Because the whole point of the training is for you to learn that you need to look for sounds and syllables in order to understand. If you look for things like letters and words, which don't really exist, especially in English, then you will 100% not be able to understand fast spoken English. But with this training, you will look for sounds and syllables and that's what you will transcribe. So you will no longer need to just listen for the key words and hope that you've understood the right thing. Because when you don't, as we found out with me, you can look like a bit of an idiot. That will no longer be the case because you will be able to understand every single word, even those small annoying words which carry almost no meaning like prepositions. But once you train your body, not just your ears, it's a whole physical thing to understand these sounds and syllables, then you will be able to understand fast spoken English and make better connections with people, which remember is the key. And my goal for you is to have native speaker listening skills. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, stop the podcast right now. There is a form To complete, you literally just put your name, email address, and there are like one or two other questions to let me know that you are interested in the course and you will be the first to hear about it in the next couple of weeks. This is, let's say, a continuation from my course, Fluency via Pronunciation and Storytelling, where even in that course, many people said to me, I can now understand native speakers better because we obviously looked at some of these things. But this course is even more specific. So it is perfect for you if you live in the UK or if you simply want to master British English and understand Netflix without subtitles. So remember, stop the podcast now, click on the link, register your interest. I will talk to you all very soon, people. But in the meantime, just keep on rocking, baby.